Hi guys, welcome to our first ever vlog. This is the hobby mat. Hi. Um, you've probably seen recently on Instagram that I've been hinting at a few changes, but before we get into that, I'm going to insert a clip, take a look at that, and then we'll explain more. I've only gone and done it. I've quit. I've quit my job. Just quit my job. So I've come out to the car. Just to uh, let it settle in, let it sink in. So, yeah, I've quit. I've, I've actually ended my noticing. I am working my notice period. So, I'm not just leaving seconds after handing me noticing. But, yeah, I've quit. Quite scary, really. Happy, but scary. Because I haven't actually got a job to go to. I've just decided. This ain't for me. <clears throat> and it feels great, I'll be honest with you. Probably one of the best feelings I've had in a long time. Or the happiest feelings I've had in a long time. Have you ever had one of those days? Or one of those mornings? I get them all the time. Travelling into work. And I I travel about an hour and a half to get to work every day. Obviously, same journey on an evening, so three hours travelling a day. You have a long time to think about things. And I'm travelling into work this morning. I'm stuck in traffic, and I see this bloke over from me. I mean, this... I've seen this bloke before. You, you you travel the same journey, the same distances, and the same times of day. You tend to see the same cars, the same people. And I look across at him, and he's looking at me. And I think, God, you look miserable. And then I'm thinking... He looks how I feel. So if he looks how I feel, that's what I must look like. And I sees him there and I'm thinking, if he's that miserable and he's hating his journey that much, what the hell's he doing? Why don't he just quit? So, <sighs> took a leaf out of my own book and uh, quit. Got into work this morning, sat at my desk, still thinking about that bloke. Still thinking about me. I'm like, I hate this. I hate my job. Hate's a strong word. Not enjoying my job. Yeah, company's good to work for. Nothing wrong with the company. Nothing wrong with the people that I work with. But I just don't like my job anymore. Been there, done that. Really not enjoying it. So I sit at my desk. And I start typing my notice out. I don't plan this. This isn't. There's no plan involved i've just started typing my notice letter out at work and then i prints it and i signs it and then i hands it into my boss um so there you are done quit my job notice letter in done dusted feel great need to find another job we'll see what happens so here, yeah, that was me uh, using the word quit unnecessarily too many times. So that was around three and a half weeks ago, approximately. Yeah. Today was my last day. I've uh, finished today and no longer work for the uh, company that I did. And we wanted to talk to you about what happened, what made me sort of leave. Um, and what we're going to do in the future and what we're going to uh, be doing uh, coming up soon. So I'll start with uh, leaving. I um, just got to the point where I was not enjoying the work anymore. I was not enjoying my job. Didn't like going, as you've already seen uh, in the previous clip. And that was brought on, I think it was brought on, by the situation that we've all been in over the last year and a half, two years. Not being able to see friends, not being able to see family, not having that social interaction, being locked away, we've all been locked away. And I'm not ashamed to say that early part of this year, I, I did have a bit of a meltdown and mentally I wasn't in a good place and uh, I had to take some time off work. Um, only a short period of time, a couple of weeks, but uh, I needed to get myself sorted out and get my head clear and straight. And I did go and get some help, which got me thinking um, about what we wanted to do, what I wanted to do. Uh, obviously, I wanted to spend more time with Michelle, kids, because uh, I've worked 
since I was 16 and I've worked five, six days a week, um, other than holidays and national time off work, that you, your statutory time off work, never taken any any sort of extended time off, off uh, and spend it with the family. So I feel like I've missed out on a lot. So that was the reason for quitting my job. There we go again. Now, I wouldn't recommend just quitting your job and not having a job to go to like I did. Uh, and I am going to say now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a great feeling. Um, if you're ever in a position that you can do that and you feel it's uh, something you can do, I didn't regret it. I really didn't. But I wouldn't recommend uh, leaving a job without having something to go to. We're not made of money. I do need to work. But I don't need to put the hours in that I have been doing. I've been doing five, six days a week. Don't need to do that anymore. I have found a job. I have got employment. I was straight on there. I was looking for a, for work straight away. And I have since found employment. And I actually start uh, Tuesday. So in uh, four days' time, uh, as we're filming this. <laughs> um, so I'll be doing kind of full-time, part-time. It's, it's a bit weird. It's, it's a full-time job, but I'm really only doing part-time hours. I'm doing shift, like shift work. So I'll be working three evenings really um starting around two three o'clock finishing 10 11 o'clock at night which is great so i'm, I'm out for tea time and home for bedtime it's, it's brilliant it means i can spend the, the day with days with michelle when i'm not working um we can spend all day together when i am working we've still got most of the morning and early afternoon to do other things okay so the majority of you watching this will probably have come across from my instagram and obviously, now that you're watching this, you will also know that there has been an Instagram name change as well, which reflects more about, you know, what my account has become. So initially, when I first set up my account, it was based around cleaning. And I think over the last sort of 18 months, it's changed. You know, I wanted to change the way that I did things just because I didn't want to bore you all with cleaning day in, day out. Um, so obviously now the name reflects what it's going to be about. We're going to be spending more time together. So there will be bits and bats on my Instagram that will kind of show what we're doing. We want to go to different places, but we also want to go to places that we've been to before and maybe not actually taken in what's about um you know you, you go to so many different places and you never really soak up what's going on you kind of just rush through life and you focused on the next thing yeah so on that we michelle's instagram is basically still going to be michelle's instagram um the content's going to be very similar or the same as what it has been over the last 18 months like she just said but when we are out and about, we are going to be filming, we are going to be taking the cameras with us um, and we're going to be putting things on YouTube. So Michelle will notify people, um, you will see little clips on Instagram. But if you want to see more of that content and more about where we are and what we're doing, there will be videos coming up on YouTube. So we don't want, again, we don't want to bore everybody. We don't want to be putting videos and films out there that are not interesting. Um, we want to put videos out there that we're interested in that we'd want to watch um, so we're only going to be doing this weekly so there'll be something coming out all being well every week um, to start with that it may be a bit of a slow burn to start with maybe every other week uh, but as intentions are to put something out every week depending on what we're doing depending on where we're going that may be something that's been filmed through previous week or week so there may be clips or bits from every single day it may be just one particular day uh, that we've where we've gone somewhere been somewhere and we thought you know what this is this is worth sharing and you know maybe other people might like to to visit these places as well so if we can show show what we're doing it may just inspire other people to get out there and actually see some of your own country I can't really fly anywhere at the minute um, although Boris has uh, let a few countries off at the moment so um, but there is quite a lot in his own country there's a lot of places to visit a lot of places to see and we now want to spend that time and, and visit those so again saying that we have got some things planned so coming up in the near future uh, we've been 
a few weeks time mm -hmm. from from this going out yeah uh we've got uh the warner brothers studio tours the harry potter tour coming up so we'll definitely be filming that we'll definitely uh, put something on here uh, and take you along with us uh, we've got a trip into London itself, so I'm sure there's plenty of things to see yeah. in London. We've both been before a couple of times, mm -hmm. but again, it's quite a big place, a busy place. You miss things, so we'll, we'll take it easy and we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a trip around London and again, we'll film and, and see what there is to, to see and put that out there. We have got some plans for later on in the year at Christmas time. Yeah. So our daughter is going off to university uh, and lucky for us, she's going to Manchester Manchester traditionally has had a pretty good Christmas market so I'm sure we'll be there for that as well uh, and there is other Christmas markets about and other events on ongoing um, so again we'll, if we're there we'll be filming and we'll get that content out and let you have a, have a look at that as well um, anything yeah. else on that? and also if there's anywhere that you can recommend for us to go and visit yeah. you know just let us know comment down below or you know for those that are coming across from instagram you can always message me on instagram as well let me know because yeah. we want to cover places that you might want to go to or you've been to and you've really enjoyed you know we just want to see a bit more of this country really yeah and as you can tell i like eating i like my food <laughs> so we will be going to different places to eat restaurants cafes places like that and not sticking to the same old boring stuff i want to go try some different uh places out a bit of different cuisine i love a bit of spice as well <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see what comes up there but again we'll, we'll take the camera we'll uh, we'll show you what we're up to yeah. um we won't want to be filming uh, everything you know we still have a life to live um hence why it's only going to be weekly um or i might say to start with maybe every other week um but if you want to see more of that you want to see what's coming up just Give us a thumbs up. It's a bit YouTube, that, isn't it? Yeah, thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> subscribe. Um, and you'll just get some notifications of what we've got coming up. Uh, and again, Michelle will put some information up on YouTube. But thanks for... If you got yeah. this far in the video, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks, guys. Uh, and we'll see you soon.